First start by securing your thread to the hook. And once it's secure, snip off the excess thread. Now wrap your thread back to the bend of the hook. The first thing we're going to put on is the tail. The tail is made out of marabou. The tail is roughly the length of the shank of the hook and secure that in right at the bend of the hook. The next step is to create a dubby loop. And to do that, pull the thread out and secure it and then bring it back and reattach it to the shank of the hook. Now in between the dubbing loop we're going to add some Angora Goat and some Prism Dubbing. Those two materials will work well together. The Prism Dubbing will add a little bit of flash. Now take sparse amounts of each and place them in between the dubbing loop. The fibers themselves should stay taut in between the thread that you've created. And now using swiveling hackle pliers, we're going to twist that dubbing loop so that we secure all that Angora Goat and Prism Flash onto the thread. The best reason for using this type of dubbing is that it comes in an array of colors, so you can just mix them to your heart's content. Both the Prism Dubbing and the Angora Goat have long fibers that will stick out after twisting it onto the thread. Wrapping it around the shank of the hook is going to give it a lot of nice body to your leech fly. So once the material is all around the dubbing loop, begin to wrap the material around the shank of the hook. Notice that on every wrap, we're pulling back the fibers. This is going to help keep all the materials pointed backward, opposed to being just a big clump on the fly. Once you've reached the bead head, or you're just shy of the eye of the hook, take a few more wraps around that area, just to build up the front of the fly, and then secure it down. Once it's secure, snip off the excess. Once it's snipped off, take the point of your scissors and run it along the shank of the hook. And you'll notice that as you're running your scissors through all that material, you're going to be grabbing some of it. And then just pull straight up, as we're going to do right now. And that's just going to help add a lot of body to your fly. Do that on the top and the bottom on each side of your leech fly. If it's all done correctly, you should have a nice wide body to your fly that the Angora Goat is known for. Whip finish, snip off the excess thread, and you should have yourself a leech pattern.